This is a real quick video that just shows how to get this type of motion. You want it to be fast for the first millimeter up, then slow, then fast down, then slow for the end. Um, Cheeto Box added this feature to 1.9 and it really can speed up the prints. That's 20 minutes doing that print that way, but if you listen to the guide that they have, they tell you to do the opposite by accident without... They, they describe what I just showed you, but their guide is giving the wrong instructions. If you put the fast speeds all on the right and the slow ones all on the left, you end up with this. Slow down, then fast at the very end, but you at least get fast, you get slow up then fast. So at least that part's right, but it needs to crisscross because it imports your original settings. See, that ended up with two hours following what they said. Um, your original settings import on the left and then you have to add what's on the right so they had to keep it the two originally configurable items so this is if you follow their instructions like uh, what you would enter that got me my two hour print but what this would do is have the retract go slow for the first four millimeters or five millimeters and then it would go fast for the last one so what you have to remember is this is just the first part of the movement so this is the first part of down the second part of down first part up second part up the way the manual describes it is stage one is bottom stage two is top which that's the case for the lift but it's not the case for their track and then it's not me misunderstanding it because they even show 150 and 300 here, which is incorrect. What you want is more like this. You want your lift speed and duration to be lower for the beginning part. And then the brunt of it to be faster on the right. And then on the way down, you want the first portion to be the main part of the motion at high speed. And then you want it to slow down. The other thing is, with the new Cheetah Box 1.9 firmwares, do not use the Photon Masters um, set G code, uh, you know, into test mode. Because even when you go to revert it, it doesn't revert. And then even if you restart, and even if you reload um, custom, you know, G code settings, you have to basically reinstall the 1.9 compatible firmware again otherwise you have unlimited acceleration and your motors will skip steps and make bad noises and it's just not good and uh, yeah it definitely I never ever saw any play on my LBO6 Z rail and now at the beginning of a print it moves a tiny bit so I feel like that got caused <laughs> by that happening but it's probably just in my head. Either way, now I'm going to start designing a brace for it. Just because uh, it really bothers me. But hopefully this guy's, this helps you guys out. And uh, it prevents someone else from wasting four hours on a print they could have done in one hour. Or possibly damaging their printer. Um, with the uh, Photon Masters thing. Because uh, they should not be breaking compatibility with deprecated commands, they should either just make them not work anymore, but they shouldn't change their function, or delete functionality uh, one way but not another, with I think it's the M8511 command, or actually, let's see, the, so the test mode runs this, and it basically increases the acceleration, gets rid of the peel move and the slow rise move, so basically it makes it so it jumps to that high speeds with, uh, it gets rid of the functionality they just added, the TSMC or whatever they want to call it. And then going back to print mode is supposed to revert the settings, but that does not work. And then I tried rebooting, I tried reloading my custom G code and confirming that it loaded by doing a backup command and uh, nothing mattered. So, 
be careful with using that. Honestly, you can do the test print without any of this anyway, and it works perfectly fine. So you could literally just run the test print to get your uh, exposure.